Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the show. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I'm sitting here playing uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Syndicate? Syndicate. Syndicate. <coughs> me, 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 me. Syndicate! All right, I got it right this time. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, I'm playing Syndicate and slurring my words horribly. Uh, I've been playing it for a little bit, enjoying the living daylights out of it. It's actually kind of fun. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of history. A lot of history. I'm a history nut. So, what I've been doing lately, um, I really enjoy doing their, like, side quest kind of stuff. As you know, in every single Assassin's Creed that's ever come out, there's always been, like, this underground vault somewhere, except for Assassin's Creed 1, uh, to where you find all the cool stuff, and so forth. Well, in this one, we have these little music boxes that um, Heavy is so interested in doing. So, in light of the uh, storyline, I'm playing this part, the entire scene, as Heavy. Of course, this is how we're doing it. This stuff is now called the Secrets of London. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit, 48%. Yay. Now, I've been doing them kind of in order, and I've gotten it pretty well down. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of show and tell on how I've been finding it. So if anybody else decides to actually start doing this to do the extra kind of stuff, I figured, you know what? How about a show? And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, oh, well, go do your own thing. All right? Well, pick a piece. All right. So here's the thing. The cool part is they just give you this stuff right out of the gate. And they give you these images. makes it a world of easy. And if you kind of hate looking for this kind of stuff, I'm going to show you how I look for it. And this actually makes it very easy. So, let's start with this secret number 20, Thames. Read if you want. Uh, that's well, This stuff is completely useless to you. That of your five sound senses. Never before, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you right now. That is no clue whatsoever to any of these. Okay? Ignore them. Unless you like the riddle. Or rhyme, whatever it is. All right. Full screen it. Here's how you start. First things first, always know where you're looking. This particular area is Thames, which is really just one big ship channel area, which at first looks kind of overwhelming. But when you pay attention to the images, you can really easily figure this stuff out. Now, first things first, this kind of image right off the bat looks kind of difficult because you really don't get a lot of detail. But it's actually the details in the distance that will help you figure this out because everyone always looks up front. As you can see here, we got this lamp here, we got the sledge here, we got some concrete here, and we got what looks like a, a barge going by with a bunch of barrels in it. A lot of people miss that part, but the little things is what gets you. Now, if you look at the back, you're going to see all the chimney stacks around the middle. So if you look around the middle, you get the chimney stack. Look at the far, a little bit towards the far left, you get a ton of more chimney stacks. Now, since things is an entire ship channel, it actually narrows it down pretty easily. But you got to look at the other piece of details. First and foremost, this area is all concrete, so it's going to be on something something like a building of some sort but we're on a ship channel ship channel is full of nothing but bridges so this has got to be a ledge of a bridge look to the right now if you look to the left you can see another bridge very close by that means it nar that narrows it down even more so we're looking at two bridges that are nearby so let's go back to the map and as you can see here i'm already on thames bridge line lots of ships going around this kind of confuses people half the time all right, not to mention the vampire outfit. Badassery. All right, let's go to the map. Now, as you can see, I haven't conquered it all, but uh, as you can see, a little, a little bit overwhelming. As you can see, a lot going on. Well, first things first, remember, we looked at it, and there were a bunch of chimney stacks. So that means it's in the industrial areas. So if we start over here on one side, we're going to immediately notice we got industrial. We got mostly housing residential areas over here on the city of London. So that kind of narrows it down there. And over on here, we have the residential sides. Now, if we go up and down the entire coastline, we're going to see nothing but residentials and some docks here and there on one side of it. I'm calling it the north side. And as you get all the way down, you end up over here by Parliament, or as most people know it as Big Ben. It's Parliament, guys. It's Parliament. Learn your damn cultures. All right. So we can pretty much rule out this entire side of the map. So... It's not going to be over here at all. So you want to spread your focus on the areas that do. Remember, we're narrowing it down. All right, next, we're looking for a bridge area. We noticed that, too, that we're really close to each other. All right, so we got these two bridges here. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle. All right, this has no second bridge, so we can cut this whole area out right here. Another set of bridges. We got this area right here. Okay, could be here. Move on to here. Another set of bridges pretty close to each other. That looked maybe. And we got another set of bridges over here. Okay? So, 
we can now cut out virtually every major chunk zone, as you can see, in all these chunks. All right, back down into it. Now, another thing we saw in the image, I'll tell you what, let's just go back to that real quick. Let's go back to the image real fast. Let's see, it's in London. Thankfully, it saves you wherever you're last at. That helps out a lot. Okay, so we've narrowed it down to where those bridges are. That just narrowed it chunk down. We narrowed it down that it was on one side of the of the canal, so ship channel, sorry, not canal. Uh, well, canal too. Whatever. Someone's going to correct me in the comments. I know it. If you'll ever freaking watch it. So, we've narrowed it down to one side of it. So, now we have this to look at. So, now we know it's between two areas. We know it's only in some spots there. So, we got like four or five spots. Now, the rest of the details we're looking for. We see all the chimneys here, right? We see the shipping hooks for docking, for putting... Um, Packages on uh, boats, whatnot. Yeah, I'm kind of terrible. I can think it in my head, whatever. Then we need to get down to the smaller details. So we have the hooks. We have that. We have this small building with the two small chimneys next to one big chimney next to what looks like a uh, preparation area. So it's just that little shed-looking thing without the walls. Correct me, please. So we've now got some small details to look for. Going back to the map, see we're spending almost no time running around here, so this method really helps you a lot. So, back to the beginning. All right, this is the end of the line. Now we know it's not on the Parliament side, and we look over here. Now, one thing we can look at right here is there's nothing here between these bridges, and this is nothing but residential. So, it's not in this block. One bridge, no. All right, we have two bridges areas. Okay, we got a chimney stack, chimney stack. We got a shed-like area. Ooh, this may actually be it. Well, let's keep going. We want to roll everything out first. We got another slit here, a couple of chimney stacks here, but nothing in the middle. Okay. Move it on. Right over here, we get the train station, and there is virtually nothing there. So, we just, by accident, stumbled across it. Now, as you can see from here, we found it. There's the small building with the two stacks, the big chimney right there, and then here, the shed. So, from when we go back to the image, we can look back. There's the building. There's the big chimney stack. There's the shed. So, we have a lantern sitting right here on a ledge line. So, that means it's got to be on the right side of the bridge on the ledge. So, again, we go back to the map real quick. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Well, I sound like kind of a jerky teacher. Look right around here, and there is kind of a... Spit out a big chunk of a ledge right there. So, we're going to put a marker there. Boom. And we're going to start boogie. Yes, I spent the $5 on a costume. Bite me. I like vampires. But none of that Twilight crap, okay? I'm talking Brimstroke's Dracula. I'm talking, like, old school stuff, guys. Don't be getting to me that Twilight tween crap. Jump! Jump and jump! All right, so as we move along, we're going to hop and skip our way over to that area, following our marker. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, as we get closer, we're going to start hearing that little noise. Ha! We ran right over it. See? There's our music box. And as you can see, just like in the image, there's the two chimneys. There's the big chimney. There's the shed. There's the hooks. And there's our bridges and box inside. So, as you can see, we easily found it by narrowing it down and using some basic uh, detective skills. yippee ki -yay. <laughs> Oh, I did not just say that. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the video. And if this helped you out a little bit on finding more of the secrets of London, I'm so happy for you. And if you'd like for me to make some more, simply drop a Put a comment down below, and I'll be happy to continue making these little bits. Uh, I'll make a few more for fun. All right, guys. Well, you have a great day, and hope you enjoyed the vid. And as always, peace.